In the spirit of starting simple and then adding complexity to a painting, a fantastic way to render is to simplify the object first into a planar analysis. The next pass is to take that faceted shape and then to smooth it out into the rendered form. In this video I'll focus on the brush technique that I like to use for this sort of smooth blending. I like to use a flat, hard brush. The tip shape's a bit like a flattened oval. And because it's got some directionality to it, I'm going to need to keep this brush palette open to the brush tip shape tab while I work. This will allow me to change the brush tip angle by manipulating this thumbnail here that you can see. Also, before I start, I'm going to turn down the flow of the brush tool to about 60%. This means that I'll be letting less pigment out of the brush at a time, which will make for some softer rendering. In order to smooth out this planar analysis, I'll be using on-screen mixing with the brush tool and the eyedropper. And you should also note that I'm making sure the brush tip angle is perpendicular to the form. This helps me make sure that the brush marks will work with the form and not fight against it. So the first step is to make a new layer, and then on that layer I'll be painting with this sampled color from the left face. And I'll pull the paint across the threshold, and in doing so, make that transition. And now I'll select some from the center face and paint that back in the opposite direction. And I'll start one last time from the left face, sample there, and paint back over the threshold. And when I'm done with all this, I'll switch to the eraser tool and erase away what I don't need. You could also use a mask for this if you wanted. So you can see the technique is pretty straightforward. Now that you've seen the theory of this brush technique, let's give it a try on this apple. So I'll make a new layer and pick two facets that I want to blend between and then line up the perpendicular brush tip. Now sample from one and paint towards the other. And then I'll go back in the opposite direction. Sampling from the middle and pulling it over across the threshold. I'll do one more quick example. This time going up and down instead of side to side. So I'll make a new layer, sample from the bottom, pull it into the top, and then sample from the top and pull it down towards the bottom. So it's a back and forth push and pull like this, and eventually you'll smooth out all those transitions between those hard facets. And since this process is pretty straightforward, I'm not going to bore you with blending the entire apple. So go ahead and download the file that I provided at the bottom of the post and give it a try yourself. This is one of those techniques that just takes a lot of practice, so don't expect to nail it on your first try. Have fun painting!